Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to my channel. So there are five things you need to consider when fly casting. First, it's an intended line path from the tip of your rod, but when casting, it's generally a straight line path to the rod tip. Next is the proper size casting arc. Remember, 10 to two is a great base, but that will decrease with shorter casts and increase with longer casts up to 170 degrees. Next is the proper application of force. You don't want to punch it out there too hard or you'll create a tailing loop and your cast will begin to fall apart very quickly. Next is having the proper timing. And that just comes with practice and watching the line on your back cast and as it moves forward. You'll feel it in the cast when it starts to come together. And finally, elimination of slack line. Always have a tight line from your casting hand all the way through the rod and all the way through the cast. So those are the five things you wanna consider. And I know that's a ton to consider when casting a fly rod. The best way is really just to get out there and practice. Until the next time, fish on.